Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to add some lights in our environment and render this in Maya. So I have imported my model back in Maya and applied all the textures. You can go to substance and uh, click here to import all your texture maps. I have already made a tutorial on this. So you can go check out this video you can see on the screen. So after applying textures, I selected this wall and created a duplicate and placed on this side. Now we are going to create some mesh light for our environment. So this plane is going to be our light. So you can select this, then go to Arnold and the lights. Go here and you'll see this mesh light. Click on it. Open Arnold and render. Now you can see your scene is black. You can't see anything. Go to attribute editor and uh, while selecting this light, Increase the exposure. Let's try 5. And also uncheck this normalize. Now you can see some lighting in your scene, but you can't see your light. And for that, click on this light visible. Now we have some lighting in our scene. You can increase or decrease the exposure from here. So we are going to add some more lights. So let's try to keep it 4. And you can change the color of your light from here. Let's stop this and uh, select this light here and create some duplicates. Place this one here. And as you can see, we don't have a light here. So you can select this and let's delete it. So when you delete this mesh, it will delete your mesh light first and uh, keep your mesh intact. Now you can select this and create a duplicate, place this one on this side here. Now select both of them, create duplicates again and uh, put them here. Create two more duplicates, place them here. Now to add mesh lights, uh, you have to select each of these planes and uh, go to Arnold, then go to lights and select this mesh light for each individual light. So click here and select this mesh light. We'll change the settings later. Now go here and Arnold and then lights and the mesh light. And let's do the same for these two. Lights and mesh light. So as you can see, all these meshes are turned red. It means that your meshes are successfully converted to your mesh light. Now go to Arnold and render it. So it's all black right now. Select this light and turn off normalize. Also increase the exposure. Let's try three or maybe four. Also select this light visible and let's do this for all these mesh lights.
so as you can see we have successfully added all the lights and uh, our environment is visible now to add some more brightness what you can do is stop this and uh, and go to Arnold then lights and select this area light scale it and bring it out again render it and while selecting this area light again disable this uh, normalize and here you can increase the exposure to add some more brightness let's try three maybe two and you can also change the color a little bit So now you can select all these meshes and create a duplicate and extend this hallway like this go to Arnold and render it again now you can see that other part we just extended but uh, there are no lighting in that part so let's stop this and uh, select this area light create a duplicate and place this one here now let's try to render it and now you can see that other hallway You can increase the exposure for that. And you can select all these again and create one more duplicate and extend as much as you want. You can again select this area light and put this here. And to add these mesh lights in these parts, just go here and select these lights and then select the mesh, then go to Arnold and add some mesh light, just like we did here. Now let's change some settings in Arnold render settings. Go to the settings and let's change the resolution first and go to Arnold Renderer and increase the samples let's take 4 for now and uh, select this output denoising AOVs also select this area light and here in the samples change it to 4 and also resolution to 102 and you can do that for all these lights and also these mesh lights increase the sample for these
So since we have made all these changes, it's going to take a while to render this. So just hit render and wait for it to finish. So that's how you can create an environment using Maya and Substance Painter. I hope you liked this video series and if you did then you can subscribe to the channel. You can also join my discord and follow me on the Instagram. And you can find all the necessary links in the description. So with this video I'm going to wrap up this series and hope you enjoyed these tutorials. So that's it for today and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.